Rest in peace to one of the greatest Knicks players of all time. Last Monday, Willis Reed passed away at the age of 80. Reed's death was announced by the Knicks organization on March 21st. Reed was nicknamed the captain. Willis Reed played with the Knicks for 10 seasons and was a huge reason for their championships in 1970 and 1973. He was drafted by the Knicks in 1965 in the second round after starring at San Diego State University. In both finals, he was nicknamed the MVP of the series. What made Reed most famous when he stunned the sellout crowd at the world's most famous arena by walking out of the tunnel to the iconic call of Here Comes Willis by broadcaster Marv Albert. Reed injured his ankle in Game 5 of the 1970 Finals and did not play in Game 6. After the Knicks lost in Game 6, many did not expect Reed to come back for the final game of the series. However, he hired after 10 seasons. Willis Reed would go on to finish his career with an average of 18.7 points per game and 12.9 rebounds per game. Along with winning two championships, Reed was named an All-Star eight times, Rookie of the Year in 1965, MVP in 1970, and was named to the All-NBA team five times and was also eventually named to the NBA's 50th and 75th anniversary teams. In 1976, his jersey number 19 was retired and was also inducted into the Naismith Hall of Fame in 1982. He also coached the Knicks, Nets, and the University of Creighton after his playing career. Reed also was in the front office for the Nets during the New Jersey days and spent time as a general manager, then the senior vice president of basketball operation. Reed will legacy will always be remembered and he will be greatly missed by his family, the country, and the entire NBA community.